Hey there privacy conscious internet surfers. Today we are diving into the world of web browsers to find out which one offers the best protection for your sensitive data. Before we move on, I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content. So, why should you even care about your choice of browser? Most people don't give much thought to their browsers, but here's the thing. Your browser handles a ton of your personal data, and that data it's valuable to advertisers, marketing companies, and unfortunately, hackers. That's why it's crucial to use a secure browser that respects your privacy. But with so many options out there, which one are the safest? Today, we are going to take a look at some of the top-rated browsers in terms of privacy and security. We have narrowed down the list to the cream of the crop, so let's dive in. Kicking off our list is the Microsoft Edge. While it has some basic security features like pop-up blocking and sandboxing, its infrequent updates and closed-source nature leaves much to be desired in terms of privacy protection. It's suitable for casual users but may not meet the requirements of privacy-conscious individuals. I will rate it 1.5 out of 5 when it comes to the privacy and security. Opera, like many other browsers, tries to keep you safe online, but it's not the best at it for a few reasons. First. It offers a free VPN service, which sounds great, but these free services can sometimes be slow and not very secure. Second, Opera is not open source, which means we can't check if there's any hidden problems. Third, while Opera says it respects your privacy, it still collects some of your data and we don't always know exactly how it's used. Lastly, it doesn't have as many privacy options as some other browsers. So, if you want to control your privacy and settings more, then you might want to look elsewhere. Overall, Opera is okay for casual browsing, but if you're serious about privacy, you might want to consider other options. I will rate it 2 out of 5. Now comes to the most popular internet browser, Google Chrome. It is one of the most convenient browser out there, but it's not the best for privacy. Here's why. First, Google, the company behind Chrome, makes money by collecting data about your browsing habits to target ads at you. Second, Chrome isn't open source, so we can't see exactly what's going on under the hood. Next, while it does have some privacy settings, they're not as strong as some other browsers. Also, since Chrome is so popular, it's a big target for hackers, so using it might make you more vulnerable to attacks. Lastly, while there are a lot of extensions you can add to the Chrome for extra security, it's hard to know which ones you can trust. Overall, if you're concerned about privacy, you might want to look at the browsers that put more emphasis on keeping your data safe. I will rate it 5 out of 5 for convenience, but only 2 out of 5 for privacy and security. Safari, the default browser on Apple devices, is decent for privacy, but it has its drawbacks. It offers some useful features, like a built-in password generator and a privacy browsing mode that uses DuckDuckGo by default. Plus, it runs tabs in separate sandboxes, which helps protect your data. However, Safari has faced criticism for collecting users' browsing history even in private mode. Additionally, while it uses the open-source WebKit framework, the rest of Safari is closed-source, so we can't see everything that's going on behind the scenes. Also, Apple's participation in programs like NSA's PRISM raises concerns about its commitment to user privacy. Overall, Safari is a solid choice if you're in the Apple ecosystem. But if privacy is your top priority, then you might want to consider other options. I would like to rate it 3 out of 5 for its security and privacy features. If you have enjoyed the video till now, then please subscribe to our channel as a gesture of appreciation. Moving on, Brave is a browser that's gaining attention for its focus on privacy and security. It comes with built-in features like ad blocking, tracking protection, and HTTPS upgrades making your browsing experience safer. Brave also supports most Chrome extensions, adding to its functionality. However, it's based on Chromium, the same code that powers Google Chrome, which might raise some eyebrows among privacy-conscious users. There have also been controversies such as Brave auto-completing URLs with affiliate links, leading to questions about transparency. Despite these concerns, Brave's privacy features are robust and its ad-blocking system allows users to contribute to their favorite publishers directly. Overall, Brave is a strong option for those seeking a browser that prioritizes privacy 
while still offering a smooth browsing experience. I will give it a solid 3.5 out of 5 rating. Firefox is a great browser because it's fast, easy to use and doesn't weigh down your computer. It's the only big name browser that's open source, meaning its inner workings are transparent and have been checked over by lots of people. This makes it less likely to have sneaky stuff hidden inside. For security, Firefox has a private browsing mode that keeps your internet activity safe from tracking, malware and phishing. It blocks annoying pop-ups and tries to stop websites from fingerprinting your device. Plus, you can tweak it to your liking and add extra security features easily. However, some privacy-minded folks might worry about features like pocket, telemetry and startup profiling. Don't worry though, you can turn these off in the settings. If you're concerned about privacy online, you can add a VPN extension to Firefox for extra protection. Overall, Firefox is a top-notch browser available for almost any device you can think of. I would rate it 4 out of 5. Tor browser stands out as a premier choice for privacy and security on the internet. Its strength lies in its use of hidden relay servers, which obscure user activity by routing internet traffic through a series of decentralized nodes operated by volunteers worldwide. This multi-layered encryption makes it extremely challenging for anyone to trace users' online actions back to their origin. Additionally, Tor browser comes equipped with pre-configured security features that automatically clear browsing data and prevent tracking and fingerprinting. Its decentralized nature ensures that there is no single point of control, making it resistant to censorship and surveillance attempts. Endorsed by privacy advocates like Edward Snowden, Tor Browser has garnered a reputation as a reliable tool for protecting users' privacy. Overall, Tor Browser is really good at keeping your internet activity private and secure. But it's not perfect for everyday use because it lacks some important features. For example, it doesn't support many add-ons or extras like other browsers do, which might make it feel a bit limited. Also, because of the way it works, it can be slower than other browsers. It doesn't have built-in protection against things like viruses or malwares. So, while it's a top choice for privacy, it might not be the best for everything you do online. Nonetheless, I would like to rate it a solid 4.5 out of 5. So, which is the top private browser? If privacy is your only motive, then you can't find a better browser than Tor. However, it has its shortcomings, which we already discussed earlier. So, I don't recommend it for average users. I recommend you go with Firefox as a relatively private web browser among mainstream options, especially when configured with privacy settings and security add-ons such as VPNs. It offers better extension compatibility and ease of use compared to other browsers. However, no browser can guarantee complete privacy. To enhance online security, you should delete saved passwords, disable cookies, limit data collection by browsers and search engines, uninstall unused browsers to prevent exploitation and avoid bad internet habits like postponing updates and using weak passwords. So that's all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, stay informed and stay safe.